grabs the guitar, ramps it on the phylactery. The phylactery shatters. And suddenly a portal opens in front of you and the Lich Queen tumbles out. She's bleeding this black smoke. I say, yeah, yeah. I think she wants an encore. <laughs> <laughs>Beyond it's your turn, you see the woman who has basically ruined your life. Weak. Okay. I got some new spells you gave me that I want to try. Did we ever find out what she's weak to? Like what type of element she would be weak to? That would have been useful. <laughs> I'm gonna... I never even thought to ask that question, which is making me <laughs> question my intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast Blight. Nice. Uh, she needs to make a constitution save of 13. And if she fails, she takes 8d8 necrotic damage. Oh, yeah, she fails. She gets a 6. Great. Oh, yeah. 44. Holy shit. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I mean, uh, Renee brought the violence today. <laughs> you raise both your hands, one uh, one human, one bionic, and then just like black iker type liquid pours out of you, hits the lich, and starts to like burn through her. And she's like, oh, fuck, and like really burns and She takes 44 damage. You see like blood is coming there's like literal holes in her now and you can see as you look like look at her you see that like uh sort of the rotting flesh and you realize that she's also an undead creature but she's a lich and so could yeah. i also slap her across the face yeah 100 oh nice bitch slap the lich <laughs> she like gets the falls on her knees taking all the damage and you just slap her across the face you see you see the other two the like mag magma golems are just like they kind of look for a second and one of them goes Ooh. okay <laughs> I want to use that unseen servant again for some point. Is that a spell or is it just an extra thing? Uh, I can let you do it as an extra thing if it's a shenanigan. It's a shenanigan <laughs> and does it have to happen during my turn or can I do it now? You can do it now. I want to send it to the Lich Queen with the command of uh, tickling her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I'm like, you know, shenanigan. I'm doing a constitution save for her, so she has plus 8 to her constitution. So she rolls 13 plus 8, so she does pretty well. Uh, so your unseen servant tickles her and she's just like, the fuck is this feel? She's just like, <laughs> it feels like there's like bugs on her, she's like slapping it around. She's like, you know, I took a lot of damage, but this, whatever this is, is much worse. And she's like slapping it off. Uh, Rocco, it's your turn. First, I'm gonna flip my lucky coin. <laughs> you flipped your coin and you slash with the thing. So yeah, just roll damage. 2d10 plus 10 slashing damage. You got it. 2d10, 2d10, 2d10 plus 10, 22. You take the ax and slash it. And in the end, you can hear this like reverberating like guitar riff as it goes through. And you just like slice one of her hands clean off just gone and she's like ah you fuckers does the lucky coin only work for one action so i should roll yeah you should roll yeah oh yeah i rolled a 14 plus Ooh. 10 for a 24 yeah that hits 17. <laughs> so yeah you do a second swing just sort of like nick her across the face and you see like a big gash across her face. yeah but it's the you know it's the tickling that gets to her <laughs> 
Timbo, it's your turn. Uh, there's a bonus action called chromatic damage, where once per long rest, you can infuse a simple martial weapon. So maybe I've got that crossbow, I think. Maybe I'll infuse that with, uh, I'm gonna say cold, because of what she did to Bjorn's dad and Hector in the cold ice and stuff. I'll fire that that crossbow. 17. That misses. Oh man, that's just got a high, high <laughs> number there. <laughs> but you can do an extra attack. I've got Ray of Sickness, 18. That hits. I have to make a DC 14 save. She got an 18. So it, she doesn't get poisoned, but uh, it still hits. So roll 2d8. 15. It's like projectile vomit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Lich Queen can't come to work today. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. It just like hits her in the face and she's like, fucking, you guys are disgusting. And she just like takes the damage. Uh, Poppy, it's your turn. I use my lucky coin. Is it a waste if I already hit her and do a lot of damage in one turn? Team, what are your thoughts on it? I think casting as much damage as you possibly can at any given time is good because we don't know how long we live, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like that's what I'm thinking. Like, why save the lucky coin until I'm dying or something? I don't know. So, yeah. so I feel like we all forget later. So. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll get the most damage from the ice knife. 1d10 plus it'll shatter, right? The target and each creature within five feet of it must succeed on dexterity saving throw or take 3d6. Bjorn seems to be there. Bjorn is true. She could take then 3d6 cold damage. That could be a lot of damage for Bjorn. Bjorn has 59 health, so if you want to do it, you know, Bjorn will understand. She's in like a cold rage. <laughs> Fine, that's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna do ice knife then. Well, I, and I'm using my lucky coin, so do I need to roll? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you don't need to. So then just roll your damage. So let's see. Nine plus three plus one plus two, two. And then 16, 17. Ooh, I fail the save by one. So all the damage happens. So Beyond takes six damage. So what you do is you take like some of the lava out of the ground, like with your magic. You freeze it in your hands. You see, so it's like a it's like a yellow ice knife. You flick it at the uh, lich queen. The one hand that is not cut off, the ice knife goes through and through her palm, and then shatters. So the second hand also shatters off. She has no hands. <laughs> Uh, Bjorn takes a few, just like some of the debris hits her. She takes uh, six damage. Okay, I still have my turn left. Yeah. I can spend two sorcery points to make a spell attack into an additional bonus action. A new one I can do. Right, so I'd like to do a new one then. I want to do Ray of Frost. I got 17 plus 5, so 22. That hits. Roll 2d8. 5, 3, so that's 8, plus 1d6 for my Hunter's Mark. Oh, fuck off. One. Basically, what's happening is all of you are attacking at once. Bjorn shoots Black Icker, Timbo shoots Gru, <laughs> and <laughs> Poppy shoots just ice. It's now the Lich Queen's turn, and Lich is like, I've had enough! And you see, she like opens her mouth, and like her jaw just like gapes open, and you see, she like becomes bigger, like 10 feet bigger than she was even before. And you can see like everything is like sort of almost falling off and rotting. She looks like a crazy, like really fucked up version of like a undead zombie. So you see her like reach an arm out and then a spectral scythe gets created in her hands and she swings it at all of you. Please make a dexterity save. 18. Got a nine plus two, 11. Got a 10. I got 17 plus 6, 23. And I want to do the shield thing. What should I do? Uh, no, shield just works. Poppy like creates a magical shield. She slices with this magical scythe and uh, you guys take like big slices to the chest. But Rocco actually uh, is able to block some of that attack with the axe of this. Timbo and Beyond take 20 damage and uh, Rocco takes 10 damage. Whoa. These lava creatures start walking towards you now. Could I have used my my dogs, my hounds? So one of the hounds is gonna go now, and one of the hounds is gonna go last. So let's yeah, let's attack a lava person so that we reduce one of these little ones. Okay, I got an eleven plus four, so fifteen. Fifteen hits. Ah, two plus two, four. I'm using stew. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, stew just like you got a boss, and like runs over to the tries to fight it, but he uh, just sort of scrapes the. Uh, the magma thing as it keeps walking. So he's gonna attack Stu. Then he got a 19, so that hits. Oh no. You see, he just like punches at Stu and like just fire hits through him and Stu takes 11 damage. No! Oh my god. Crashes into a wall and you can hear him like, oh, 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 oh. Great yes. animal abuse episode. <laughs> <laughs> 
slash Mother's Day episode. <laughs> it's a really confusing one. It's super weird. So the other, other magma man comes towards Rocco and tries to grapple you. Rocco, make a strength saving throw. He misses. He anyway rolled very bad. So he just like tries to grapple you and uh, Rocco just flies out of the way. It's Macadamia's turn. So let's just do bite again. I got a 15 plus 4, so 19. That hits. Fuck! One. Aww. Same deal, he tries to tries to bite, but it doesn't really take punches. Poppy will avenge them. <laughs> <laughs> it is now uh, Bjorn's turn, but I'm going to use a legendary action. The Lich Queen just like grabs Bjorn's neck and is like, you have been a thorn in my side for too long. And she casts Life Drain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this happens to three creatures within 30 feet. So everyone make a... Constitution saving throw, DC 25. The fuck? Nope. Seven plus three for a 10. I got a 16. Is it magic? My guy says something about advantage on saving throws against magic. Yeah, you have advantage. Oh, yeah. Even with advantage, 12 is my best. Can I use my, my lunch line for this? Yes, you can. Oh, great. Ah. Everybody take 27 damage. Oh. oh. Except for Beyond, who takes half of that. Wow. So you see that she like just like starts inhaling, and you see she starts to heal up a little bit. All of you just like suddenly start losing your life essence. Could I have absorbed whatever she was doing to me? Yeah, you can do absorb elements. What was she doing though? She was like sucking my energy out. Yeah, it was necrotic. I do that. Yeah. Can I do from her attack? Can I do the reaction of telekinetic energy? Yes, yes you can. So she has to make a strength saving throw of 11. Uh, 9. Oh, nice. It's pretty bad. Six. Your telekinetic energy, you just feel the blast come out. She gets hit by it and she tumbles through the portal and is gone. And she takes six damage. So she's not here anymore. Oh. Whoa. Are we like out of uh, combat? Uh, those, those two magma guys are still here. Well, I still have an action, right? Yeah, it's still beyond. Still. Uh, should I like chase her through there so she can't heal or escape or whatever? Where is she going? She's not going anywhere. She got pushed through the portal. Into where? The base. The lobby. Yeah, she got pushed into the lobby. <laughs> okay, can, can I go back um, to the middle room too? Yeah. Uh, Bjorn, you angrily step through the portal. You see, you see her, she's like on the ground. I'll cast Blight again, then roll a constitution saving throw. 12? Uh, she needed a 13, so I'll roll 8d8. It's like 8D8. super Ooh. OP. <laughs> 34. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. So this time you grab her neck and just like start crushing it and just like she's bleeding and freaking out. 34, you said? Are you okay, Rock? Is everything cool? <laughs> you feeling good? And... I'm happy. A lot of strangling going on. Just making sure <laughs> things are good at home. Things are good. Okay. I'm letting you get your revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> having fun too. Shenanigans. <laughs> uh, Rocco, it's your turn. Uh, Rocco's feeling a little rough. I want you to imagine her lying on the ground dramatically. Because <laughs> I am at nine health points. Uh, so I'm going to take one of my health potions dramatically. <laughs> I rolled a two, a four, a three, a one, plus four is 14. Nice. Putting me back at 23 glorious health points. And then I am laying on the ground still, because I'm dramatic. <laughs> I'm gonna take my sandwich, and I'm gonna put it on the hot stones for a second, because I want it to be warm. <laughs> and I'm gently heating my powerful panini, and I'm like, she's fine, Bjorn's fine. Just gonna heat this really quick. Sizzle, sizzle. It's pretty hot in here, so it's not gonna take too long. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So that's your turn. It is now Timbo's turn. I'll do something kind of similar. I'll, I think I'll drink my last health potion that I got. 18. So I'm at 22 then. I was at four health, so I was also feeling the... I mean, we're not rock stars, but we're not dead. So. Yeah. Channel divinity. Preserve life as an action. You can restore 10 HP to any creatures within 30 feet of you and divide the hit points. So maybe I'll do that with all three of us. Okay. How do you want to divide it? I'll do like three, three, three. Wait, that's nine. Damn it. <laughs> you can give an extra one to Hector. Four for me, four for me. Nah, Hector's fine. Okay. Four for me, three for everybody else. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I want to take a bite of the powerful panini. I run to the other room. Rocco and Timbo, you also still have movement if you wanted to run to the other room. I might try to do that then. They follow me. <laughs> so everyone runs to the other room. Let's do Vicious Longo. Let's just try it. Alright, roll to hit. 17 plus 7. That hits. Five. And then 2d6. Oh, right. And then 1d6 for my hunter's mark as well. 
13 plus 2 piercing damage from the vicious longbow itself. You like jump through the portal and as you're jumping through you're knocking an arrow, you shoot it, it flies and as it's flying you see like black energy goes through it. It hits the Lich Queen and it bursts and she takes all this damage. Oh but no, doesn't it double your damage because you ate the powerful penny? Oh yes, so 15 plus 15, 30, it should be 30 damage. Nice, it's the Lich Queen's turn. I want Bjorn really quickly to make DC 20 constitution saving throw. 11, I rolled an, an 11. And will you tell me for 27 hits? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You think you've won because you've got all my souls, but guess what? I've got a little something that I've been working on too. And you see she pulls out a mini phylactery, like a little like portable phylactery, and she clamps it on uh, Bjorn's hand. Bjorn immediately drops to zero hit points and drops to the ground. Mm. Uh, you see the light leave her eyes and her soul gets sucked into the phylactery. And the Lich Queen only heals four, but Beyond dead. Wow, you just killed me in one hit. She took your soul. It's The spell is called uh, Capture the Soul. Oh, man. Uh, Rocco, it's your turn. You walk in and you see Beyond just drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too late to charm person, I'm assuming. <laughs> she doesn't find me very charming. I know. I know my audience. I'm going to just keep using the axe because it feels like I got this for a reason. So I'm just going to keep using the axe. You can also play the music to like... Uh, like remove something from a spell like for example if you played it and did thunder wave then you could like not attack your friends and only attack her oh i love it because i never get to use thunder wave yeah, which nice. is so exciting thank you for letting me understand uh, <laughs> you're welcome she's gotta do a conf saving throw uh, she, it's 19, so she makes it, but she still takes half the damage and isn't pushed. So roll 48. 26 divided by 2, so 13. Nice. So you play the guitar and thunderous lightning comes out, hits the Lich Queen, she flies across the room and like hits the wall. The wall shatters, she falls, there's like debris falling on her. And uh, you can see that she has died. She's dead. Whoa! And then like a soul sort of like comes out of her and like reforms into another creature. It's like even bigger, full of like mist, dark, crazy, and comes together to be, you truly are fools. Your end is at hand. It is now time for reckoning. She rears back and rolls, and then you hear a truly terrifying sound immediately cut short by a giant airship crashing through the side of the tower. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> my god! <laughs> Fully crushing the Lich Queen, you watch as the Poseidon grip pierces through her side, killing her once and for all. For the second time today, the Poseidon's rift has crashed. You can see Wolfgang is like truly like weeping, fully crying. And she's like, <laughs> don't say I never did anything for you. Whoa. Wait, can I save Bjorn though? <laughs> <laughs> Do I hit so, the phylactery with the axe again? Does that release her soul? Or do I have to like shake it into her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just like sort of shake it back. Uh, I'm gonna use that diamond thing, right? Uh, Rocco breaks the phylactery and Poppy crushes the diamond. The diamond uh, sort of, the diamond just flies out uh, and swirls around uh, Bjorn's soul, goes back into Bjorn. Bjorn heals up fully to full health and just like pops back up. And you see as she pops back up, the diamond dust that's like still like floating around forms the shape of Bjorn's mother around her. And you can see Bjorn's mother finally free from her exile. Whoa. My child! And she like uh, comes to you to hug her. Oh. Bjorn hugs her. Okay. <laughs> the two of you hug. Uh, Bjorn's dad, who is now awake, jumps out of the ship and he's like, You did it! You saved me! You saved the world! My two girls! And he like hugs the both of you. There's a big, tearful family reunion. Uh, he looks at his wife and he's like, My love, you have an age today! Oh. And they're like very happy. Timbo's watching this and crying, but he's also partially crying because he just fixed that ship <laughs> that crashed into the... We just, this morning, we were spending so long on that. I just fixed it. And we, uh, 
Timber as he's crying, Wolfgang comes up puts a sh- hand on your shoulder. And both of you are crying, and she's like, "I, I know, little man. I know it is truly. This is beautiful over here, but also like <laughs> we just fixed that ship over there. Truly tragic. <laughs> I spent so long. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I also am upset about stuff. <laughs> Can I do a perception check or investigation check and see if the Lich Queen has any money lying about? I owe <laughs> Jeremiah a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Make an insight check, in fact. I am finding this cash money. I rolled a 19 plus 2 for a 21. Oh. Show me the money! <laughs> so you see as uh, the Lich Queen, as she starts to disintegrate and continue to die, you see the portals falling apart. And you see as the portals fall apart, the rooms like reveal themselves to be like illusory rooms, like now just bigger rooms. And you see that the room on the right that you didn't go into, the sand room, is just like full of money. There's just like, there's like at least 5,000 gold in Whoa. there. Rocco just Board. like sla- electric slides over like, <laughs> right. you guys are having your family moment, but I'm going over here. <laughs> oh, I also want some money. <laughs> like all of you can share 5,000 gold. But how is it split? This needs to be decided immediately. What's the ratio? <laughs> immediately. Is it 5,000 divided by four or is it 5,000 divided by six? Are we including Yorn's parents? I know they're non-player <laughs> characters, but like- That's on you No. I'm gonna live in the woods. You don't need money though. <laughs> That's true. What is money I mean, in the woods? Mm-hmm. It's still money and I'd like it. Twelve <laughs> fifty each sound okay? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's a happy ending. <laughs> she keep the dogs. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna... Oh yeah, what about the dogs? My dogs, my hounds, do they come back to their human self now the lich is dead? Uh, they come out, but they're still dogs right now. They come out of the portals and they're like, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Tough break. Stu comes up to Rocco and he's like, hey, uh, do you mind playing your guitar? Everyone's, uh, you know, we should, we should like celebrate a little bit. <laughs> Just like stuffing money in my clothes. Like, yeah, give me a second. <laughs> Uh, So you start playing your guitar, the music spreads out of the axe and you see the world begin to change. The frozen wasteland suddenly sprouts blue grass and purple trees. The sky churns into a resplendent red. All the hellhounds and skeletons and zombies transform into beautiful creatures. Some human, some different, everyone is free. They joyfully run around and dance to your music. Timbo, you join in, you start creating magical effects and lights as Rocco plays. And like the good old days, you put on a show like never. God, my music is literally changing the world. (laughs) We're going on tour. (laughs) 